kids who are women. So you're one of a very elite group. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> and, uh, so um, I I don't know how many of you know about the National Academy of Engineering, but it's among one of it's among the highest professional distinctions accorded to an engineer, and the Acad Academy and Membership honors those who've made outstanding contributions um, to engineering research practice or education and who have pioneered new and developing fields of technology and have, have made major advancements in traditional fields of engineering. So Meredith is far from traditional. She's uh, been a, a real pioneer in en engineering for sustainability and she's been, her contributions are in the area of um, dispersed heterogeneous metal catalysis, catalysts for efficient production of fuels and chemicals, and she's internationally recognized for this work and lauded. And she's a real trailblazer in the field of clean energy technologies, and we're really honored to count her among our faculty. And um, I just have a little bit to say about her lustrous career. Um, she has so many honors. Um, she was, um, I guess, early in her career here, she received the Space Act Award Certificate of Recognition from NASA, and she was a uh, received a Career Advancement Award from the National Science Foundation. Um, she was a Mellon Senior Faculty Fellowship, a Distinguished Scholar at uh, Tufts, and I was around for that. I think she's, since I've been here at Tufts, you're the only engineering faculty member who has been honored as a Distinguished Scholar. So that's really um, in, an internal recognition that's great. Um, she received the Henry J. Albert Award from the International Precious Metals Institute in 2009 and the Giuseppe Caravano Memorial Award for Excellence in Catalysis Research in 2013. She's an elected fellow of both the American Association for the Advancement of Science and the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. And um, she has seven patents, is that right? Hold seven patents? More? Ten, I think. Ten? Okay. I apologize. And so my, my, her, the co-authorship, we probably have an old CV on file, right? And uh, she's co-authored then at least 120 technical publications and probably many more. And uh, she's since 2002, she served as um, editor of Applied Catalysis B, Environmental, and that journal's uh, the highest impact factor in the field of catalysis. So she's uh, having a lot of influence in her profession. Um, and then she directs the Nano Catalysis and Energy Laboratory in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. And uh, I, I don't see Bob Haber here, I don't, I don't know, but um, I, she holds the Robert and Marcy Haber Endowed Chair in Chemical Engineering, and, um, and uh, we've, been, we've been very excited that, to have that recognition bestowed on her a couple years ago. So I'm really happy to be here to celebrate uh, with your friends and colleagues, and um, I, I, I just think that it's been wonderful to have Moretta as a colleague. She was on the search committee that uh, brought me to Tufts, so <laughs> I will always be indebted for, to her for that, and that, that this has been a, a wonderful part of my life as well, and I, I'm going to celebrate with her in, in October at the Academy to uh, welcome her into the uh, National Academy. So please enjoy your, uh, your food, and um, please eat the hors d'oeuvres, there's lots here. So uh, congratulations, Moretta. Thank you. Well, I can say just that I'm not prepared to, <laughs> to say anything, but uh, I want to thank you, first of all, oh, for being so supportive over the years, <laughs> to me in particular, to the department in general. And, and uh, I want to thank uh, whoever is here right now and those who have written who could not be here. Um, it's a little overwhelming for me, but uh, exciting too, and, and uh, I look forward to, to having, you know, a tough occasions to, to celebrate with uh, many, many other colleagues. I see my students here, students from the past also, and uh, it's, uh, it's very moving. And uh, these distinctions don't come um, without having, you know, the hard work of, of these young people, and, uh, and uh, to them, I mean, most appreciative, and to the family, and of course my husband, <laughs> who has been both a mentor, so I can feel you are a few months older than me, so, <laughs> so <laughs> always telling me what to do, and then it was good advice, <laughs> and um, way wise, and uh, so I am uh, just very happy to see all of my colleagues here, and everybody else, and I, I really appreciate the honor, and thanks for hosting this for us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.